Okay, so about two years ago, um, I was walking my dog at my parents' rental property, and I ran across these very unusual, heavy, black, they're black, shiny rocks. Okay, why are you laughing at me, Bristol? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you up close of them. Get that up close of this rock. Okay. Okay. So they're super heavy. I actually, I've got another rock to show you, just an example. <laughs> why are you laughing? So this rock is half twice the size of this one okay this rock weighs 1.10 ounces this rock weighs like 1.04 ounces or one pound four ounces this one weighs one pound 10 ounces just to show you the difference okay so i broke it and they're super duper hard really hard to break but when you break it it's got the black fusion crust and it's got the metallic inside okay so i was like oh cool i got a meteorite da 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 but really, I didn't realize that there's a lot more meteor wrongs than there are meteorites. So, but, so I was just, so I sent it off to have an XRF gun scan it. Okay, these are the, the comp, this is the comp, composition of this rock. Okay, it's got iron, manganese, tungsten, zinc, silicate, phosphorus, and sulfur. Okay so but there was also a lot of other minerals that had it was like like nickel it had less than 25 i don't really know what that means it said not detected or nd and then the less than sign and it said 25 so i'm not sure if it was the calibration of the xrf gun or what but the xrf gun i was using was at like a um a, a, um one of those big powerhouses so i'm not really sure what they used it for so anyway so i chat gpt um what would a rock containing all those minerals be and it came back it said a stony iron meteorite a mixture of metals iron nickel alloy silicate and it says that they originate from the mantle of dif differentiated asteroids where metal and rock partially mix um so then i like googled i was like well has georgia ever had any stony iron meteorites and that said yes that they had had several and it just so happened that cartersville which is where i found this has had they had a stony iron meteorite in 2009 and i looked it up and that rock was found nine miles from where the one in cartersville had dropped so and then i had looked up um, group 2ab iron meteorites they have the lowest nickel concentration of any group and they're that ranges from 5.3 to 6.6 .6 in the percentage by, based on the weight. So I wasn't sure if maybe it could be that. But um, anyways, I was just wondering if any of you guys out there had ever saw anything like this. Now this is it busted open. Again, very heavy rock. Um, it's a it, slightly magnetic. Not. Um, I don't really know because the rock's so heavy and I don't have a strong enough... Um, magnet <laughs> so i don't know so there's the thing i did have it analyzed for gold and silver and it did have gold and silver in it but very 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 small percentages like not enough to make it worth busting open the rock to do it um but anyways that's it that's the inside that's the outside it's super heavy found in cartersville georgia looks like lava like a lava stone or something i don't know but um any help would be greatly appreciated thank you